Welcome to The Bottom Line. Our guest is the most popular columnist of the Washington Post, Dan Volks. He's also a frequent TV commentator, and we enjoy his columns and would like to pick his brains on the fundamental questions of this election. Thank you for appearing on The Bottom Line. Thank you. One of the fundamental questions which we'd like to get your opinion on is, should the government redistribute its citizens' wealth? What do you think? Well, I mean, that's, a, that's part of the debate that we're going to see over the next year. Um, there's, a, there's as big a philosophical gap between the two parties today as we've seen in many of the years. And I think that's the fundamental, part of the fundamental argument that's going to go on between the Republicans and President Obama. They have, they have deeply different views of what the role of government should be, what the level of spending should be, what the level of taxation ought to be, uh, and how benefits ought to be distributed. And I think that what we're waiting to see in this election is where voters really feel the country ought to go. What's your view? Do you think the government should redistribute its citizens' wealth by forcibly taking money from some citizens through taxes? Well, I, to provide I, goods and services for others? I'm a reporter. I don't I don't take positions on that because I'm trying to cover this race. Uh, but you're way. a columnist and a commentator. We, we're here to get your, pick your brains and, and your wisdom on this fundamental well, you're issue. Not, you're not going to get me to answer questions like that. You, you don't want to tell us what you think about that? Uh, well, maybe we'll ask you about a different question. Is there some reason why that question is like taboo or some problem with it? No, those are editorial judgments, and I'm a reporter, uh, first and foremost, and I don't take ideological positions on issues like that because I try to try to remain neutral apart from those debates so that I can cover what the candidates and people in both parties are, are saying. Well, are you in favor of the Iraq war, for example? I don't answer these kinds of questions. You don't I'm sorry, but okay. if, that, if, you know, if that's what you want answers for, then we ought not to do the interview. It's kind of interesting to me because you're a citizen and you, you have these opinions, but you don't want to share them. Is that it? I don't get it. Really. And you think it would harm you if you shared your views on these? Well, I've never, I've never done it as a reporter, so I don't think I'm going to start here today. But you're not only a reporter; you're also a commentator and a columnist. Well, you, but my, you, but my you have columns, a chance to yeah, my columns, say whatever you think is true and right. No, right? I don't. I, if you read my columns closely, I don't. I don't use it for that. My, my columns don't run on the op ten page. Uh, they run in any section. They're analytical. Um, but they are not, they don't come down and say I'm pro this or pro that or anti this or anti that. So. Well, have you ever asked any of the uh, participants in the really debate whether it's proper for the government to redistribute its citizens' wealth? I don't think I have asked So isn't that a fundamental question? As you said well, as I say, that's a, that's a, that is part of what we are watching. I mean, we can see what different candidates think about these things. But what's important, I think, in the end is what the voters decide as to where they want things to go. It seems to me very strange. If you think that this is the fundamental question of dividing the two parties, you don't ask questions about whether it's right or wrong to redistribute the citizens' wealth. Well, I mean, we have, we, have, we have heard the candidates. For one, we don't get many opportunities to question the candidates directly. And that's just for starters. Uh, and we have heard from them in, in a variety of ways come down on different sides of some of these issues, so we have an understanding. But do you views on these issues, like war and peace or redistribution of wealth, do they affect the questions that you decide are the right questions to ask or not? Well, I think I like to try to take my cues as much from what I, what I hear from voters when I'm out as to what's important to them. So, is it important for them to know whether it's right to redistribute the citizens' wealth? Is that important? I think they're beginning to, I think they can see differences among the candidates. But you think that's an important question, right? Well, you do. Well, I, 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 I think so. Well, I, I agree. You, you told me in the beginning that that was the fundamental divide between the two parties. So, you must think that it's also important. No, I, I do think that's an important part of the debate that we are seeing unfold. And you, as a citizen, don't have a view on this issue? I didn't say I don't have views on some of these issues. I said I don't share these views. 
I don't try to let these views color my way I report the campaign. So, I mean, there's, I mean, it, I mean, part of it is an understanding of what journalism is, uh, and the kind of journalism that I grew up and learned how to do. And that is that reporters are to try to keep personal views and personal feelings out of their own, out of their stories, to try to give people on one side or the other uh, an opportunity to say what they think and to try to report those things uh, as fully and fairly as we can. You don't think that the reporter's views uh, determine what questions you think are, are important to ask or not ask? Ooh, not entirely. And, no. Uh, no, a good professional and, reporter doesn't, doesn't ask all the questions that they think. You don't think that his views affect the questions that he asks? How does he know what's important to ask well, and what's not course, important to ask? Of course, they do. I mean, of course, reporters uh, do. But at any rate, I, you know, I think that we're. We're going to go round and round on this, so I think we ought not to keep going on it because we're not going to go any farther. So we'll, we'll just stop it. We asked uh, David Broder the same questions. He had no problem giving us his view on whether the distribution of wealth was wrong or right and why. I don't understand. Well, David, David spoke for himself. Right, but he's also a reporter and a TV commentator and columnist. He was, he was an op ed columnist, which I know. But he, he did everything, he reported. Commentators. Just because they did it doesn't mean I do it. Right. Okay. So you think it's wrong to do it, and you don't think it's. I, the thing that I don't really understand is if you don't, your opinion about these issues determines what you think should be the questions. So I think your opinion is important. And so, boy, if you well, think. I'm, sorry, I'm, let me, I'm, I'm flattered that you think my opinion is important, but as I said, I'm not going to sit here and, and go through a list of questions about. Just that or the other thing. I mean, I just, I, I don't need that. Okay, well, do you have opinions on whether farm subsidies are good or not? You can ask, you can ask me the same kind of question, and I'm not going to give you an answer. And you had no opinion on whether the bank uh, bailout was good or bad or anything like that? None of those things you have opinions on? I'm trying to find something. Hey, let's. Wait, no, we I mean, I mean, talk about something. No, what let's, can we talk let's, about? let's not just let's just not do the interview. I mean, because you're obviously looking for something that I'm not prepared to talk about. Well, can so, we talk about moral principles and values? That's no, not even political. No, we no. can't talk about that. About how about justice? I don't want to talk about this thing. That's not not even a political issue. I don't know you. I don't know. You said. Do you think it would harm you to answer any of those questions? I don't know that it would, but I'm not going to do it whether it would or won't. I see. Well, I mean, but I'm, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity to lay out well, I gave my you view of how, you know, how I, 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 I asked you about justice, I asked you about yeah. principles, about the war in Iraq, about the distribution of I'm trying to find something where you feel comfortable talking well, or, about No, I, I mean, I think what you should do is find somebody who wants to talk about those issues as opposed to somebody who doesn't. Okay, well, since you've been on TV so often commentating, giving your opinion about this, that, or the other, yeah, I thought but, but you, you would uh, be you, uh, I mean, happy I to share your views. I mean, you haven't then watched the way I'm on TV. I don't, I don't talk about those kinds of issues. But if they ask you, you, you answer your you know, you view, no? No. You don't? Not on questions like that. What's this in a whole... I don't follow the secrecy. You think that, uh, it's, well, it's not secret. Anyway, let's, okay. Let's, let's, okay. Let's stop. Well, so, thank you, Mr. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I, you know, I just didn't really that that was the subject that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about it.